Hello again. We're looking at another quadratic equation, and again, a is not equal to 1. The term in front of the y squared term is not equal to 1. First things first, what do we got? 4 minus 4y squared plus 4y plus 3 equals 0. Remember, this is slightly different. Once we have the a term not equal to 0, we need to change things up a bit. We're still looking for two numbers that add to give us 4, in this case plus 4, but the numbers we're looking to multiply have to be minus 4 times 3, so it's plus 3, so two numbers that will multiply to give us minus 12. Add to give us plus 4, multiply to give us minus 12. Okay, as always, focus on the minus 12 first. What's going to give us 12, 1 and 12? 2 and 6, 3 and 4, and that's it. Start repeating itself. 4 and 3, 6 and 2, so, okay. Which of these is going to work out to give us plus 4? And remember, we can look at this trick and think it has to be minus 12. So one of those is going to have to be positive, one has to be negative. Because positive and negative make a negative. Well, 1 and 12, no matter what, we can either get 11, that's really the best we can do. 2 and 6. Well, 2 and 6 can make 4 if we're subtracting them. So which one has to be negative, which has to be plus? We want plus 4, so have to have a bigger number. 6 minus 2 should give us 4. If we did 2 minus 6, it would be minus 4. Well, we want it to be plus, so ha, huh, this must be the result we want. So we need this to be a minus, that to be a plus. Those are our numbers. And remember, we can't just jump right to the answer, unfortunately. What we're going to have to do is split this up. So, let's switch back to yellow. We're going to make this minus 2y plus 6y. And remember, it doesn't matter which way I write this. I can switch these, it'll still work out okay for me. In fact, I recommend you try it. Why not? Take a second later, make sure you get the same result as I do. And Double check, minus 2 plus 6 would give us back the 4. The 3 is still there, the 0 is still there, and my minus 4y squared is still there. And now common factor the first two, common factor the second two, and we should be in business. So what do we got in common? A minus 2 and a y. So minus 2y, divide this by minus 2y, what do we get? 2y. Remember the minus, when we're factoring out a minus, everything changes sign. So we can guess this will be a plus. And actually when we divide minus 2y by minus 2y, what do we get? 1. And then, what can we factor out in common with these two? Really just a 3. I can divide this by 3 and this by 3 and still get whole numbers. That's what we're looking for. And in this case, factoring out a plus. Plus 3, well, 6 divided by 3 gives us 2, we still have the y around, 3 divided by 3 gives us 1. And once again we see this term, this term are the same. We're in business. I can factor out that whole term. Again, remember you could do a substitution, say this whole thing is equal to z or m or whatever you want, just to make it easier to picture. And then you'd factor out that thing and plug back in the value for z or x or m, whatever you chose to use. But in my case, I'm thinking this is one thing in common with that, I can just factor it all out. Factor out the 2y plus 1. It looks messier, but really we're just doing the same thing we did here. I factored out a 2y from these two terms. Well now I'm factoring out this entire term from these two terms. So that's what's left over. I still have the minus 2y plus 3 left over. Still all equal to 0. Now remember, didn't matter what order I went, if I'd gone the other order and put the 6y in front, this would have been the term in brackets that I would have factored out and had this left over. Again, I recommend trying it, just to see. Maybe I'm lying, good thing to check. But we're still not done. We still have to solve for y as well. So, remember, I'm going to branch out and see. 2y plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 1 from both sides. 2y equals minus 1. Divide both sides by 2. Always trying to get y on its own. We want it to be lonely. So, y equals minus 1 half. And then, same thing here, minus 2y plus 3 equals 0. Subtract 3 from both sides. 
minus 2y equals minus 3. Divide both sides by minus 2. Again, doing the opposite of what's being done to the y. It's being multiplied by minus 2, divide by minus 2. So we're left with y. In this case, we have a minus and a minus, which will cancel to equal 3 over 2. And if we wanted to check these solutions were right, we could plug these back into the equation. Again, later on we'll see a case where this is very important, where some of the solutions we find turn out to be wrong. In this case, we'll be okay. We'll talk later why some cases can break down, but for now, we're all done this problem. Thank you.